Yes, mm -hmm. let's get into the entertainment news. Feminism is the cause of domestic violence in marriages. Ha. Here we go. <laughs> Movie veteran Peter Dolce is on the news again as he has blamed feminism for the rise in domestic violence and broken marriages. He made this known during an interview with the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC Igbo, where he stated that feminism isn't our culture as Africans. He said, and I quote, this thing called feminism, that's what leads to women getting beaten in marriages. When you talk to a woman, she will respond to you. When she responds to you, you won't be able to bear it, so you stretch out your hand and beat her up. He also talked about women's uh, understanding being limited, adding that he has dealt with a lot of women, including working with them as their boss, and he has come to the conclusion that their understanding is small. He continues, this thing called feminism has no usefulness. We don't worship women in our culture. White people worship women. If you notice in the Western countries, three or four women would have, could arise and say a man touched them inappropriately at work and the man will resign for that reason. Such a thing can happen in our land. And he went on saying a whole lot of things, blah, blah, blah. Ladies, are my ladies? Ah. Okay. The last time I talked about this, I was like, I'm pretty irritated by what he said. I mean, I think that every, we like call it every season, every episode of this is a TED Talk. No, this one is another total different interview. This one is with oh. the BBC, so this one is not the one that was... Wow, yeah. now it's even international. Yes, that's true. Ibosha. Even Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, I just feel like he's coming out to state his opinion. I mean, people were saying, oh, everybody is entitled to their opinion. He's coming out to state his opinion. But it's just for me, I find it very sad that in 2021, a man will still be saying this with all the things that we are learning and relearning in our, you know, in our society and unlearning as well. So for him to say that their, their understanding is small, that is already, that's an insult. <laughs> Now, that's not even borderline that's insult. That's a, that's a straight shot huh. insult right there. And saying that, oh, in foreign lands, uh, uh, the people, women will come out and they talk about them, um, sexual them. harassment, and then it can't happen here. Is that supposed to be a good thing? I don't know what, what's going on, Honeypot. What's happening? I don't really know what's happening because I am of that opinion that people are entitled to their opinion. But in this case, as you said earlier, that's an insult. Like when you say that their understanding, you know, is small. And then when you say that in other times, they can point at a guy and say that this guy has molested me. And at the end of the day, you know, the guy people resigns. React, yeah. So uh, is, is it good in the first place to molest people, to harass people, to do anything bad to people? And this is what we're talking about. Yes, I would not, I would have said that if he said certain things that are, you know, but this point that he had said, I find it, uh, ridiculous, really. Uh, and the reason is because, um, uh, hmm. you know, what people are actually saying, I don't know whether it is everybody's thought, but when it comes to feminism, I think, because where I have the problem is when people say my feminism is different from your feminism, but when it comes to like, okay, uh, if a guy, if you do the same work, if OJ and yourself work together, and then they're paying OJ pay. higher, and then they're paying lo lower, they're giving you lower pay, and then they're saying that because OJ has a family and all that. I'll say it's wrong because they do the same thing. And so they're supposed to be paid equally. the same. Yeah, equally. Mm -hmm. So there are things that you don't even... Because women are not slaves. I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not even about gender. Nobody is a slave. So you should treat people with respect. You should actually, uh, you know, uh, talk to people with respect. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> For the first time, I'm actually... At loss. Because I, I don't know what to think. So really. I, I, I said this the last time when he talked about the buying a car in your don't your, buy a car in your, your husband. So he, he has said a lot, and I told you that N6, my guy said, whoever is interviewing, yes. who, whoever is interviewing Peter Doce and asking all, all these, these questions, questions about, they should actually stop it. And I like think this all, is what they are doing. There are a whole lot of they things. They are doing to, it on purpose. They are bringing out, oh, okay, let's go. Culture, culture, culture. Kind of, no, kind of there, there, are, there are things to interview Peter Doce as regards movies it's a veteran looking at the movie industry now compared to when you were mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. uh, his son is coming out for politics mm -hmm. be to become a president talk about politics in nigeria talk about politics in general uh, talk about movies all this culture and i don't should know what man, should any man even raise his hand at all at Can any woman 
and like, that she will now talk back. What did you say? She will yes, now come back. Yes, and the guy. Well, now, nah, nah, veteran, a veteran. Uh, it's a veteran, so I beg. yeah. Shout out. Don't to you. listen to that kind of advice. Uh, you shouldn't. Okay? You, you shouldn't. shouldn't listen to that kind of advice. When was the last time they beat me in my house? Go no to domestic violence. That somebody will not Equality does not equal. It's not the same thing as also bastardizing bastardizing yes. men. You understand? So what you're saying, a man and a woman is equal. So if you do this, there's a consequence for doing that. So you can't say that you want to harass people in the office yeah. and because you're a man, you get away with it. No, it's not. You people should stop for you. People should stop interviewing people. You know, we always say it's when we bring news of people in other crimes. You know that are arrested or they're in jail yes. already for this, yeah, for and then we keep saying that men in Nigeria should take a cue because the other day somebody who was an actress was telling me that they were on a movie set and somebody was saying that ah, if no be say this thing I for rape you, what sort of nonsense is that? How can you in, say you for in rape 20, in 2021? In 2021, irritating to the ears, ha. very irritating. Can you try yeah. that abroad? You can't. You can't actually try those kind of things abroad. It, it, I bet, please don't get to my neck. Can we move on? And yeah. I'm actually feeling like people might... I, I have a feeling that women might start to come out and say things about him. Because the way he keeps talking about, oh, I'm a boss, I've worked with so many women, I'm actually legit scared for him right now. Which women? Hmm. The I people in that their era. Because ah, the people in that their era, <laughs> that can take anything. It's not just right. You should just be careful. You don't encourage There is nobody like that. that is bigger than the law. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Right, you should stop on. interviewing Peter Doche, for God's sake. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now, veteran.